So looking at classroom example three, of course, we always have to practice with our horizontal and vertical lines as well. So here we want to graph all the y's that are greater than or equal to negative five. So here's my y negative five because of the equal sign. This is going to be a solid line. We're going to graph this line. There's the line y equals negative 5. And now we have to decide, are we going to graph a shade above or below the line? What's the half region? Well, we want the y's that are bigger. So I'll pick origin here. That's the point 0, 0. That will be my test point, 0, 0. So is y greater than or equal to negative 5? Plug in the y value of 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 5? Yes, it is. So this is going to be my solution region. If I had x greater than or equal, we'd have a vertical line. And you have to decide, are you going to shade on the left or the right, the bigger x's or the smaller x's? So why don't you go ahead and try practice five. And the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to graph these two inequalities and find the solution region that make both inequalities true. So. Let's graph x minus y is greater than 2. We want to get the y by itself, so we're going to subtract x from both sides. Negative y is greater than negative x plus 2. And we don't want a negative y, so we're going to swap the signs. When you divide by a negative, this greater than becomes less than x minus 2. So this purple line is going to have a y-intercept of negative 2 and a slope of 1, up 1, over 1. And since there's no equal sign, this is going to be a dashed line. So we're going to graph the inequality here. Now for this purple region, do I want the y's that are bigger than the line or smaller than the line? Definitely smaller. So I'm thinking my test point is going to be 5, negative 2. So x minus y is greater than 2. I'm just putting in a 5 for x and putting in a negative 2 for the y. And the negative of a negative becomes positive. So is 7 greater than 2? Yes, it is. So here's the solution region for the first inequality in this system. See this bracket here says that these two equations are considered together for a solution. Now let's look at the other equation. We'll do that one in green. That's 2x plus 4y is greater than negative 4. And once again, we want to get the y by itself. So we'll subtract 2x from both sides. 4y is greater than negative 2x minus 4. And we want y by itself, so we're going to divide every term by 4 y is greater than negative 1 half x minus 1. So this has a slope of negative 1 half, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, and a y-intercept of negative 1. So we're going to graph the negative 1, and then we're going to go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. Should this be a dashed or solid line. 
This should be a dashed line because there's no equal sign here. So here we go. We're going to, on the same XY system, graph our second inequality. And now we have to decide, are we going to shade above or below the line? Or are my Y values bigger than the line or smaller than the line? The Ys are bigger above. So you know what that point 5, 2, I'm going to try 5, 2 as my test point. I'm sorry, 5, negative 2. I could use 5, 2 also. Um, 5, negative 2 as my test point. So 2x plus 4y, is that greater than negative 4? Let's see. Plug in a 5 for the x. Plug in a negative 2 for the y. Is that greater than negative 4? Is 10 minus 8 greater than negative 4? Is 2 greater than negative 4? Yep. So for this line, or that inequality I would graph above. So what does this mean for the whole system? What that means is this region right here that's dashed is the solution region that make both inequalities true. These would just make the purple line true or inequality true. These would make just the green inequality true. But this is the solution region for this system. This is starting to get you ready for what we'll learn in Chapter 4 with systems. So uh, we're not actually going to do a practice problem like this because you have not seen systems yet. It's going to come in Chapter 4. But uh, we're done with graphing lines and inequality. So have fun doing your homework.